You should never ever hear the click track coming through the main monitor system. That should never ever happen. There is a major difference between a click track and a loop and many people don't know the difference between the two. In this video, we're going to break down this topic of click tracks and loops and what is the difference. A -A -A -K -B. Hello, my name is Kel Bailey and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, I want you to hit that subscribe button and please like this video for the algorithm. So if you are a musician or maybe a singer in church, you know that the term loop and click track is often used interchangeably. We often call the loop a click track or call the click track a loop and they are two different things. This is what a click track sounds like. Check this out. Loop. They are two different things. So oftentimes the loop is made up of claps, shakers, tambourines, chimes, kicks. It's a percussive instrument and that's what we refer to as the loop. And oftentimes the click track is just either a cowbell or literally a metronome from that doll that you are using. Technically, if you are in the audience at a church, you should never ever hear the click track coming through the main monitor system. That should never ever happen. I'm kind of exaggerating when I say that, but at the same time, I'm just trying to paint the picture. There's a difference between a loop and a click track. And the reason why it gets tricky is because when you are running stems, or let's say that you're a part of a ministry that use click tracks and loops at the same time, if you're trying to say, hey, turn the click track up and the sound engineer listens to you and turns this up, He's just doing what you asked him to do. So you need to know the difference between a loop and a click track. This is a click track and this is a loop. There's a difference between the two. That is a click track. Okay. So let's say you don't want to spend time making loops and you want to have loops already pre-made at your fingertips to be able to use. You can go on my website and you can check out a folder like this. I just released gospel loops volume three. I have a folder of about 45 loops in here of some of the most common songs that we do in church. Check this out. That's a fun one right there. Or let's say we are doing I'm a Witness by Vincent Bohannon. This joint sounds really, really good. Check this out. Hey. These are all loops that you can have to be a part of your worship experience. And if you want to get access to that, click the link below. Now I want to show you guys how I go about making loops. Let's get into it. All right, let's make a loop to the classic song, Oh, Give Thanks by Judith McAllister. So the tempo of that is about 118. Let's see where we're at. Let's turn on that click track. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Boy, if you don't get... All right, let's track that out real quick and I'm gonna make a loop around that. So the purpose of the loop is to make the song dance and feel good. When you hear that loop playing, you're supposed to want to move back and forth and groove with the song, you know? Right now, the song is being moved by the bass and the keys. So I'm gonna add in a simple shaker starting off. So check this out. All right, now we're gonna command A and we're gonna press Q and we're gonna quantize this. All right, let's uh, cut this right here. So we already got it quantized, now I'm just gonna loop it. And we're gonna name this shaker, right? Now we're gonna add another shaker and we're gonna do this. All right. So we're doing, so this is gonna make that song move a little bit, right? You got it? All right, now we're gonna add another track in here. Now I wanna pull up some of my samples. Let's go to my tambourine. Let's go to Kale Wooden Tambourine right here. 
All right, now we're gonna quantize this. Now the next thing we are going to add is we're gonna add a clap in here and let's pull up Premium Church Samples Volume 2. Um, if you want access to these samples, you can get these samples on my website as well. So check this out. So we're gonna quantize this. We're gonna turn that clap down just a little bit because it's a little loud. And then we're gonna name this clap. All right, we're gonna add another thing to this. We're gonna add a cowbell now. And we're, this cowbell is gonna kinda act as a click track, so to speak, but this is just gonna keep timing. So check this out. And we're gonna keep that underneath, quantize it, loop it out. Now the last thing we are gonna add is some bungos. Let's do it. So you can hear how that loop kind of makes you want to dance a little bit and move along with it, right? So now what we're going to do is add some drums. Check this out. So we can hear how we're moving right now, right? Let's turn those keys on. Keys and bass right here. So not only did you learn what the difference between a loop and a click track is today, but you also learned how to make a loop. If you want access to some pre-made loops, as I mentioned earlier, you can click the link below and get access to some of the best loops that I have created. So the next time you hear someone call a loop a click track, kindly correct them and say, hey, this is the difference between a loop and a click track. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you knew about this previously. So thank you guys so much again for watching. We are out.